Hello and welcome to another Magic the Gathering unboxing. So yesterday saw the release of the new Magic the Gathering set Kaladesh and consequently we have the, the sort of new version of what used to be called the Fat Pack to unbox. So they've now called this the Bundle. The contents are, are very similar. And we'll just have a look at the back. So we get our player's guide, our actual card box, which this sort of turns into. The difference here is instead of getting nine booster packs, we get 10. There's the 80 card basic land pack, which is, um, that, that varies uh, between sort of 80 to 70, but most of the time it's, it's always been 80 cards, or at least in recent, uh, recent years. A spin down knife counter, and a quick reference guide. Notice there's no mention to those uh, undersized um, deck boxes. So let's have a look inside of this. See what we can pull. Also, as always when I'm doing this, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about the set generally. Slightly, oops, let's get this back on camera because it's interesting to see the details. So, anybody that's opened a fat back before or seen these unboxings, remember there's like a spacer inside of this box that stretches it out, so it fills this. We've got, we've got this now. Oh, wow, this is, this is new. So Okay, I don't quite know what this doubles up as. So, um, yeah, it's an interesting use of a spacer. Okay, so you've got this little black this cardboard. There's a box which you put dice in there. Hmm, very interesting. Okay, so that's the first change. Wow, that's a really nice uh, player's guide. So just uh, something else I'll... Oh, what have we got here? Oh, that's the, just the uh, security tag. Um, I never open these up, but basically if you're really careful, um, you can open this up down the seam um, without tearing it. The glue's pretty good on, on pretty well there, that's the only trouble. And uh, this becomes out, this becomes like a very wide poster in there. Okay. A hot box. There's our uh, spin down with the, uh, with the set logo on there. It looks like generally what they've tried to do here is, is do away with uh, packaging that you would just throw away, which I think is pretty cool because often when I'm doing unboxings, there's a whole load of junk just at the end of it. So it's interesting they've got stuff like this that you can you can use. You haven't got to chuck away. It's not acting just purely as a spacer. I notice all the packs. I wondered why I could hear this shaking around inside. They've subdivided this up now into two sections. So of course this sits in here. We've obviously still got the land pack in a, in a cellophane pack here. But the rest of it, there used to be like cellophane around this as well. So this is a this is a cool move forward. And like I said, they've, they've removed those uh, silly little um, deck boxes, you know, the sort that you get with, with dual decks where it just fits the cards, but you can't get them in there sleeved up. So let's just have a look at this box. You can see the artwork there. And then we just got obviously the set name and the standard wizards logo down the ends there. Okay, so we now got 10 packs here. You can see the different uh, artwork here, representing different protagonists in the in the set. 
There's our quick reference guide. And you saw earlier our land pack. We'll get on to that. What I'll do first of all is it's quite nice to have a look through the uh, player's guide while I've got the camera zoomed out. Okay, so there's a piece at the front here by the senior designer about the, the, really the three you know, main new things that we're seeing in the set, which is the use of energy, energy as a source, vehicles, and fabricate. So as we go through the card, you get to see how that uh, manifests itself. Then in keeping with uh, previous players guides encyclopedias you get this sort of 10 coolest cards in the set so number one is Chandra Torch of Defiance two is Sky Sovereign console flagship number three is Sahili Ra I think that is number four is Dynavolt Tower five Noxious Gear Hulk six Dovin Barn seven Angel of Invention Angel of Invention Eight Blooming Marsh, nine Voltaic Brawler, and ten Panharmonicon. Panharmonicon. It's a bit about the uh, the world in which this set exists. A bit about ether. Bit about the different tribes that you're going to find in the set, the Inventors Fair, Inventor Societies, Key Planeswalkers here, some new and some old. Something else they've been doing for quite a while now is this uh, idea of so telling the stories through certain key cards. So you'll find the Kaladesh storyline is blended in with certain cards in the set. And then we go on to the card encyclopedia. So what will be interesting to see is what's actually listed in here. Because anybody that's been studying the set, and I must admit I've not looked at all the spoilers, um, because I find that it, it ruins a bit. When I'm it, The nice thing about doing this um, particular unboxing is I've not really looked at uh, an awful lot of the cards but I just understand some of the key concepts in the set and that makes it nice and sort of fresh for me but what it is is there are some special cards which uh, one there's some cards in the planeswalkers planeswalker decks which replace intro packs um, and they are you know part of the set but you won't be opening any of those in any boosters I think there's there's four in each a planeswalker pack if you include the planeswalker. So it might be that they're they are also listed in this encyclopedia. Oh yeah, here we go, they're at the back here. Cards numbered two six five and higher don't appear in booster packs. These exclusive planeswalker deck cards are legal for tournament play in any format that includes the Kaladesh set, so there you go. But the other thing to watch out for is something called the Kaladesh Inventions. So these are special cards which Wizards... This sort of started in Battle for Zendikar um, with, the, with the full art lands uh, that they printed. Now the chances of you pulling them are, are pretty low. Uh, they've got about the same chance as you pulling a foil mythic of a particular card. That's how low they are. Like I said, they're called the Kaladesh Inventions. They have completely different border artwork. Uh, they are legal in, you know, if you were playing these in a limited format. But they, they're only legal in the sets that they're, or the, the formats that they're currently legal in. Depending on what, what card they are. We might get one. I, I'm not holding a lot of hope for that but uh, we'll see you never know I get pretty lucky on some of these pulls 
I'm going to look at the artwork first of all on the on the basic lands. Okay, so I just flip through here these till we start to see repeats. So there's 80 lands in this uh, bundle. Of course, I'll probably keep calling it a fat pack. <laughs> starting to repeat ourselves here. I think in this particular set there may only be three different types of artwork. I could be wrong. But you sort of get the you get an idea here. Let's go through till I'm about halfway through and then we should have seen all the artwork. Okay. So there you have the basic land artwork. So let's start cracking some packs. We've got 10 packs now instead of 9. Okay, let's open up a Chandra. See what we can find. A set specific mechanics themes come up. I'll try and uh, spot those and highlight them. So we're starting off obviously with our commons here. Terror of the Fairgrounds. That's the Gremlin. Thriving Ibex, which is part of a thriving cycle in the different colours. This you see has got those energies on it. So in this case, when Thriving Ibex enters the battlefield, you get two energy counters. Whenever Thriving Ibex attacks, you may pay two energy counters if you do put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Oh, here's the other. Here's another one in blue. Thriving turtle. Same principle. You see the the uh, ability is basically similar. It's similar. Oh wow! <laughs> Thriving grubs. So these are all at common. So we'll probably see quite a few of those. Take down as a modal card. Morphis squad has both menace and fabricate. So fabricate's a new mechanic. So in this case, fabricate one. When this creature enters the battlefield, put a plus one plus one counter on it, or create a one one colorless servo artifact creature token. So the nice thing about fabricate is you get this choice between putting however many plus one plus one counters on it, based on the, the fabricate number, or uh, a number of one one colorless tokens. Again, tied in with that fabricate number. Tesseret's ambition. Dund Operative Nanum Cobra. This is part of a cycle, I think. There's these um, artifact creatures that we should see at uh, two colorless, which have a, an on color activation cost in each of the five colors. Propeller Pioneer, it's got fabricate on it. Weapon Craft Enthusiast. So this one has Fabricate 2 and you can see here, in this case, you put two 1-1 one -one counters on um, on it or create two 1-1 one -one colour servo tokens. Notice they're starting to use the word create now when they're referring to tokens. Servant of the Conduit. So we're moving on to our uncommons here. Uh, energy counters on this one. And again, notice on the card, most of the time it'll be both an ab ability there to generate energy counters like an into the battlefield ability and there'll also be something to spend those energy counters morbid curiosity well that's cool so our first rare is a legendary creature gonti lord of luxury two and two black for a two three legendary creature etherborn rogue Death Touch, when Gonti, Lord of Luxury, enters the battlefield, look at the top four cards of target opponent's library, exile one of them face down, then put the rest on the bottom of that library in a random order. For as long as that card remains exiled, you may look at it, you may cast it, and you may spend mana as though it were mana of any type to cast it. 
a swamp and a thopter token. Yeah, thopters are a thing in the set. So what we're looking out for now, which we haven't seen yet, of the, the new things, are the vehicles. Once we've done that, we can probably move through these a little bit quicker. Spontaneous Artist, got energy on it. Built to last. Select for inspection, it's got Scry. Hijack. Thriving Rats, another card with energy token. Another thriving card. High Spire Artisan, fabricate on that. Workshop Assistant. Oh, so here we go, this is our first vehicle we've seen. So this is two colourless for a 2-3 artefact vehicle with flying. It's got Crew 1. Tap any number of creatures you control with total power 1 or more. This vehicle becomes an artefact creature until end of turn. So what you will see is on different, different vehicles you will see that Crew ability possibly change. So if it's Crew, say Crew 5, then there you would tap any number of creatures you control with total power 5 or more. And again, this vehicle becomes an artifact creature until end of turn. And notice that this has got a slightly different inner board around it, this sort of brown and sort of metal stuff down here. Dakara P P Fowl. This is another one of these cycles I mentioned with the, with a with a certain color activation cost. We saw the I think it was the snake earlier. So there's a bird for blue. Torch Gauntlet. Aerial Responder. So moving on to our uncommons. Oops. Very slippery with new cards. Make obsolete. Refurbish. Oh. It, Cool, we've got uh, another legendary creature at rare. Pian La, two and a red, two two, legendary creature, human artificer. When Pian La enters the battlefield, create a one one colorless stop to artifact creature token with flying, which we actually got uh, in our first pack. We've got that token. One and a red target artifact creature gets plus one plus zero until end of turn. One Sacrifice an artifact, target creature can't block this turn. And we have a servo token. <coughs> For our fabricate cards. Okay, not surprising we've got Demolish in the set, a heavy artifact set. Avery Mechanic, Subtle Strike, another modal card. Appetite for the Unnatural, Curio Vendor. Chandra's Pyrohelix. Oops. Cogworkers Puzzle Knot. There's a cycle of puzzle knots in the set. Renegade Freighter, so another vehicle here. This one has Crew 2 on it. A three colourless 4-3 with crew 2 and also whenever Renegade Freighter attacks it gets plus 1 plus 1 and gets trampled until end of turn. I actually think there's only a couple of vehicles that are at a common rarity. Rush of Vitality, Essence Extraction, Contraband Kingpin, so this is one of the, one of the few uh, multicolour cards. Speedway Fanatic, so we're moving on to our commons. Eliminate the competition. Now, looks like we've got a foil in here. Four and a black sorcery. As an additional cast to cost to cast eliminate the competition, sacrifice X creatures, destroy X target creatures. Okay, so our foil is a, a common pressure point. One and a white. Instant tap target creature, draw a card. We have a forest, and we have one of those sort of advert cards. I know they have to be there, I suppose, for marketing, but uh, that's one thing I would like to see removed and just replaced with the token, is those uh, ad cards. 
World Fast Wing Smith, Spontaneous Artist, another card with energy on it. Avery Mechanic, so we've got a Dwarf Artificer here. There's uh, some cards in here as that actual world that, that play nice with the uh, with the vehicles as well. Videlkin Blade Master, Procata Club Security, Cow Prowler, Windrake is in the set, Sky Skiff. So that's a vehicle. Propeller Pioneer. It's one with the fabricate on it. Wood Weaver's Puzzle Knot, so there's another Puzzle Knot. Blossoming Defence, so we're moving on to our uncommons. Durable Handicraft. And our, oh, no, another uncommon. Per perpetual Timepiece. Uh, <laughs> wow, this is turning into a very interesting box. Um, so we have a Planeswalker here. So this is our first Mythic. As Sahili Rai, Ray, Sahili Ray or Rai. Uh, one blue red, three loyalty planeswalker. So the plus one is scry one. Sahili Rai deals one damage to each opponent. Minus two. Create a token that's a copy of a target artifact or creature you control, except it's an artifact in addition to its other types. That token gains haste exile at the beginning of the next end step and the minus seven the ultimate search your library for up to three artifact cards with different names put them in onto the battlefield then shuffle your library wow. a planes and a servo token okay let's see what we've got next now it's, this is a really interesting set just from a yeah, unboxing standpoint as well. I think if you've not seen these before, just a combination of things. I, I really love the artwork in this new set. Actually. Built to last, revolutionary rebuff, spire side infiltrator, tassel dromedary, dromedary lawless broker, uh, kujar seed sculptor, prakata pillar bug. So this is a well, that cycle of artifact creatures I mentioned. This is the black one in black with the black activation cost. Three colourless to cast. Pima Outrider. Workshop Assistant. Glint Sleeve art of Artisan. Uncommons now. Long Finned Sky Whale. Fairgrounds Trumpeter. Era of Innovation. Crikey, look at all the energy counters on that one. And, oh nice, we, we have um, one of the jewel lands. So we're getting a real nice smattering of, uh, of, of in rares and mythics here, real sort of interesting ones. So this is Blooming Marsh. Blooming Marsh enters the battlefield tapped unless you control two or fewer other lands. Tap, add, black or green to your mana pool. So this sort of completes the cycle that they started in Scars of Mirrodin. So these are now the enemy coloured... Um, I think are these referred to as fast lands, I think. So they enter the battlefield tapped unless you control two or fewer other lands. So they work, basically work well when you have you know little or no lands in play. Fragmentize, World Fast Wingsmith, Demolish, Avery Mechanic, Procata Club Security, another Cow Prowler, Hunt the Weak, another Sky Skiff. So of course we're getting we're in what our sixth pack now, so we're gonna see a lot you know a lot of repeating cards at common just statistically. Windrake Dund Operative, Essence Extraction is an uncommon. So we've got a, an uncommon, a vehicle at uncommon here, four colourless, six one, artifact vehicle with trample haste, it's Oval Chase Dragster, it's crew one on that. Veteran Motorist, 
So this is a dwarf pilot. I'd mentioned this that um, there's certain cards that play nice with vehicles. So when veteran motorist enters the battlefield, scry two. Whenever a motor veteran motorist crews a vehicle, that vehicle gets plus one plus one until end of turn. So in the set, watch out for these pilots. And this is also a, a multicolor card. All the multicolored cards, the few that they are, are all at, um, uncommon. Ether Flux Reservoir. So this is our rare four colorless artifact. When you cast a spell, you gain one life for each spell you have cast this turn. Pay 50 life. Ether Flux Reservoir deals 50 damage to target creature or player. One thing I keep trying not to do, and I'm doing it anyway, is I keep calling it sort of four, four colorless. Um, I think what I really mean is four generic mana. Oh. But anyway. Swamp and Thopter. Old habits die hard with that a whole um, colourless and generic manner business. Failed inspection. Cathartic reunion. Acrobatic maneuver. Nimble innovator. Dakara scavenger. Sage of Sh Shaler's claim. Foundry screecher. Wood re weavers. Wood weavers puzzle knot. So another. Uh, all these puzzle knots. Tesseret's ambition. Hunt the weak. Chief of the foundry is um, a uh, artifact creature lord, I suppose. Yeah, it gives it plus one, plus one. Other artifact creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Whirl of virtuoso. Gear shift ace. So another pilot. In white, this is Dwarf Pilot. And our rare is... Las, Las New Helion, is that maybe? Two and a red for a 4-4 four, four creature Helion with haste. When Las New Helion enters the battlefield, you get two energy counters at the beginning of your end step. Sacrifice Las New Helion unless you pay two energy counters. A mountain and a servo token. So lots of servo and thopter tokens in here for obvious reasons. Ooh, another Terror of the Fairgrounds. Yeah, Gremlins are in the set, by the way. This looks very similar to the first pack, actually. Thriving Ibex, Night Market Lookout, High Spa Artisan. Larger than life. Revoke privileges. Glass blowers puzzle knot. So it's a puzzle knot we've not seen yet. This is the the blue one. So it's a, a colourless artifact. You know, like I think I mentioned these all have a certain colour activation cost. Rush of vitality. Malfunction. Aradra's Aradra Express. So this is a a vehicle we've not seen. Five generic mana, eight six artifact vehicle with menace and crew four. So we need to tap any number of creatures you control with total power four or more to crew that. Remember that only this uh, vehicle becomes an artifact creature until end of turn. Long tusk cub, glint nest crane. So these are all uncommons. Gear shift ace, another pilot. And Architect of the Untamed, two and a green, two, three, creature, elf, artificer, druid. Whenever a land enters the battlefield, you, you, under your control, you get an energy counter. Pay, how many is that? One, two, three, four, eight energy, yeah, pay eight energy counters, create a six, six colorless beast artifact creature token. It's a forest and a servo token, so two packs to go. I have no idea how all this is going to play, but just purely from a sort of aesthetic point of view, the set looks really wonderful. 
Um, very interesting interactions here, some quite complicated stuff as well. Ether Theorist, Reckless Fire Weaver, Ambitious Etherborn, Attune with Ether, Die Young, Weld Fast Monitor, Pressure Point, Riparian Tiger, I think that is. Prophetic Prism is in the set with different artwork than you've probably seen before. Gear Seeker Serpent. Make Obsolete. Spark of Creativity. Snare Thopter. And our rare is Authority of the Consuls. Single white for an enchantment. Creatures you, your opponents control enter the battlefield tapped. So we've seen cards like this before which have this ability on them. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under an opponent's control, you gain one life. Planes and the servo token. It looks like, you know, there's lots of different cards in this set which will keep lots of different players from different formats happy, I think. Which to me is what it's all about. Failed Inspection, Cathartic Reunion, Night Market Lookouts, High Spire Artisan, Die Young, World Fast Monitor, it's another one of those creatures part of that cycle, that's the, the red one, Pressure Point, Riparian Tiger, another Prophetic Prism, Gear Seeker Serpent, Underhanded Design, so we're moving on to our uncommons, Whirler Virtuoso, Start Your Engines, and oh cool, we have another, another fast land, Spire Bluff Canal. Spire Bluff Canal enters the battlefield tapped unless you control two or fewer other lands, and this is the blue or blue or red one and an island and a servo well that was pretty cool i'm pretty pleased with obviously they you know pulled some real interesting uh rares there uh we got a real nice overview i think of all the different uh things in the set in terms of mechanics um legendary creature was in there i think in fact a couple a couple of legendary creatures uh fast lands yeah that are, no complaints there uh, so there we have it. That's the the new uh, the new Kaladesh set. Um, thanks for watching. Bye for now.